I don't know if this is gonna work. If it does, even though it is pouring, absolutely raining cats and dogs. Are everybody welcome to the house of Valentina I'm Valentina and Landon is joining us today because we get to get messy and you're always in for messy are you yes yeah so I've had these lamps for a while and they've been sitting in the basement for quite some time and then they were in the sunroom because I had stolen the spiky lamps out of there and put them in my bedroom and I couldn't decide on another lamp that I liked for the sunroom. And so I thought, you know what? We're all on tight budgets right now. And as much as I would love to order the Kelly Wurstler, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> um, as much as I would love to order the Kelly Wurstler gorgeous lamp, um, trying to spend almost $500 on each lamp right now is, it's just not practical for us. We have a kid going to college in just a few weeks and all this Corona stuff has definitely kind of, I think thrown a lot of us for a little bit of a loop. So we're trying to be a little bit more budget conscious, but we still want things to be beautiful. So I thought, well, why not make a lamp that looks like the one that's expensive? That makes sense, right? Yeah, a non-expensive lamp that will look really cool and expensive. Yeah. So the supplies that we're using today are the simple lamp, which we found at Target. You show them the Gorilla Glue, we are putting gloves on because we're using super glue. It's always a good idea. Trust me, I've had my fingers like stuck together before. Not fun. <laughs> then um, we have these craft wood doll heads. Um, so the advantage of the doll heads is that, this is what I like about these. They, yes. unlike a bead, they have an end that is smooth, but the side is flat, which makes it perfect being able to put on here and I've got a flat side to glue with and then a really pretty round side and then if this all goes according to plan I don't know if this is gonna work if it does even though it is pouring absolutely raining cats and dogs outside we are going to attempt to maybe try to do this with like the garage door open and um, <laughs> spray these the whole thing white so, but we need to make sure we don't get this bottom part. We may have to take that because you shouldn't be that lamp and it had a gold bottom. So I want to make sure that. Well, aren't you just so clever? Maybe that's why I invited you. <laughs> Keep me on track. Yeah, I oh, agree. I yeah, maybe we'll tape the bottom. We'll find some painters tape before we do that. I think that's a genius idea. If you want to keep the gold, you definitely want to tape over it. So. It's been a while since we've used this Gorilla Glue. Um, I'm gonna put my gloves on before I even open that thing. We're gonna start by finding the center of it. So I can see that this is the center and I'm going to measure. I'm going to measure from here to here. So we are looking at 12 inches. Basically what you wanna do is figure out how much space you're dealing with and then divide it up evenly so that the wooden balls are separated evenly, not only vertically, but also horizontally around the lamp. I'm making little marks with a pencil just so I'll know exactly where to come back in just a minute when I'm ready to glue. The next step is very simple. We're just taking the super glue, putting it on the back side, the flat side of the wooden balls, and then just holding them down on the lamp until they're really, really dry. That way they won't slide off. You'll eventually have to sit it upright so that you can put the wooden balls onto the lamp all the way around. Yeah, you need like a ton of glue on it. Hold it. I'll have to hold it for a little bit so it doesn't slide off since obviously gravity is going to be working against you. I've got the little ball just uh, drying here and hopefully this is going to work without my finger actually stuck to it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just marking the next ones. Are you ready to start gluing some more? Yeah, um, nine doll heads. Can't remember the last time I wasn't scared of doll heads. Really? I'm scared of dolls. Why would you be scared of a doll? So one time we were, I was riding my bike and I saw just a random doll head. <laughs> That's kind of, funny. Just kind of vibing on the floor. That's sad and a little funny. Creepy. Look at, look at this. 
That's that's it's really, really, really stuck on. Luckily we chose super glue. Should we have just bought the thousand dollar uh lamp no. set? We really should. that would be such a bad idea. Oh, we're, it's about to get noisy. The big kids are here and Louie has just spotted them. So it's gonna be some barking. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> we are going to finish this up and meet you back in just a minute. Okay, well, we have had huge success. Amazingly, that actually worked. So um, some of that is still sticky. I'm gonna fold this over. We're gonna use that again when we make the matching one. But I thought it was a genius idea to tape off the bottom. In order to keep these gold areas from getting the white paint on them, we're just simply covering them really, really well with the painter's tape. Okay, so we've got this thing fully taped up in the places that we don't want spray paint, and it looks like we're gonna luck out. It stopped raining, so we're gonna run outside really fast and spray paint this puppy up and see if it works. <laughs> All right, let's go. The key to getting a lamp spray painted really well, especially one like this, is to go slow and plan on there being several coats and plenty of dry time in between each one of them. Well, it's been about 24 hours. Yeah. I've got my coffee and my little helper is back. And did we have fun spray painting? I had a this? lot of fun spray painting. <laughs> so we had one where we had a few drips, but it was your first time ever spray painting anything. And <laughs> yeah. I'm not necessarily the most proficient spray painter. So I think we did pretty well, don't yeah. you? I do. Yeah. And your friend came over and he said that he thought it looked designer. Yeah. Did it, he said it looked legit, right? Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's pretty legit right there. <laughs> yeah. So um, while I realize that this is not the Kelly Worsler beautiful designer lamp, I mean, some of you may decide at the end of this that you'd rather just buy the expensive designer one that comes without having to go outside and spray paint. But for those of you like yourselves, you can't see your little face. Um, like us that are maybe on a little bit of a budget and just wanting to get creative and spend some time with the little peeps since they are home for weeks on end now, I think this is a really fun project. All right, let's do the little gentle untaping of it. Let's see how we did. Okay, you do that while I sip coffee. <laughs> The bottom? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it was. The bottom. I forgot of that. Bum, bum, bum. Here we go. I'm not even... <gasps> Look, it worked. It worked. Okay, you want to? You want me to hold it and you take it off? Do it gentle. Remember, gentle. So far, so good. Here we go. Okay. You need to finish that last little bottom. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. All right. So you want to take the corner part off? Yeah, the corner you don't even need to do so far. It works, guys. How cool is that? All right. So, oh goodness, you can't clap when we're videoing. I love that you're so excited. You did such a good job. Look at this. <laughs> I know it's awesome, isn't it? Do you want to do the honors and put the paint the... bowl off into the wood? <laughs> oh, oh! Whoopsies! Okay, lampshade on. Da, da. We don't have it. You can't turn it on because we don't have a light bulb or it plugged in. Oh, I thought you were trying to turn it on. Are you just trying to put it on there? No, you're good. Oh, it's okay. That's as far as it goes. <laughs> I'm so used to things being all the way. No, it's good. We'll turn it around so that the seam oh is in the back. Okay, so it's, okay, there we go. I Let's move this say. out of the way just a little bit. Boop. Okay, we've got the other one to finish, which we will do in just a moment. And you definitely want to make sure to hit the subscribe button, right? Yeah, because I know a lot of you people who watch we have like 100,060 views, but we don't even have 50,000. I need you guys to get us 
to 50,000 by hitting that subscribe button. Tell all your friends and family to get on and hit subscribe. <laughs> Comment if you like the transformation or if you would just like to spend half a fortune for the lamp. <laughs> or just have something that looks the exact same. It's not the exact same. We're definitely not trying to say that it looks exactly the same because for sure the other one is ceramic. It would be a much heavier weight than this one. The brass parts would be really, really nice. This yeah. lampshade can be a little bit wobbly. You know what? It's not a perfect thing, and it's definitely not a copy, but it's it's pretty good. It's something that you would actually want to own. Something yeah. you want to keep. I think so. And we're going to add it to the room and show everybody how we're going to style it up. So you definitely want to hit subscribe. Stay tuned. So we're going to finish styling up the room, and um, we don't want you guys to miss out. So also, you can visit us at Instagram and Facebook. Join our Facebook group and hop in on that conversation over there. And I think that's about it. Yeah. Did we do well? Yeah, we did really well. Okay, well, then I guess we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> you know what I wish I could have said? Like, this is a picture of the before when we started this. It was on the pretty line. good. That was pretty good. But, and this is the after on the lamp. Ba, ba, ba. It, it <laughs> looks really good. It looks really good. Yeah. And then, you know, ba. my favorite part of this entire thing was getting to spend time with you. I absolutely loved it. Thank you so much for helping me. No problem. Uh, maybe you want to do some more? Maybe we'll do some more DIYs over the summer together? Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. No, they are. Um, I'm about to put Gorilla Glue onto one of our Middle Eastern potatoes. Why is he a Middle Eastern? Um, because he's not Eastern. He, <laughs> he sounds exotic. It's very he, exotic. Because uh, he's speaking Arabic? Salam alaikum. Oh, hey, this one. La bas. La bas. Behir alhamdulillah. Okay. Is that English? That was Arabic. I was speaking Arabic for the Middle Eastern. Every uh, time I play a game, game, a lot of. What you doing there? There's a box in my head. <laughs> and every time I put yeah. my head there, it just like, takes it from me. It's like a candle. But sometimes when you fail to do it, you take the light from one of them. I think what you're seeing is on the screen, it has a. The little box is what it's focusing on. So, it's not focusing. Yeah, see, it's focusing on me because you won't stop moving. <laughs> it's like, uh, 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 moving target. There, there. You keep jumping up and down and clapping, and the camera is like, I cannot keep up with this kid. I have limitations. <laughs> <laughs> I, however, in real life do not. You can jump and clap to your heart's delight. I love it. <laughs> so go, go, jump, clap.